What's good, what's good, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, back with another video, man. Y'all wanted to jump on here right quick and talk about um, the tragic loss of Young Dolph. As you can see, I'm sitting here in the flip property. I had to swing by here, I had a little cleaning to do. We uh, actually getting ready for the appraisal. So I had to do a little tightening up, but I wanted to get on here, man, and uh, talk about the young brother, Young Dolph, uh, the rapper from Memphis. I was a fan of his music. Um, I'm not gonna act like I uh, listened to all his albums, but his big hits, I definitely banged all of them. Um, it was just a pure tragedy, man, a pure tragedy <clears throat> that we're losing brothers left and right um, to gang violence, but I wanted to talk about this right here. It was reported that he owned over 100 properties. And um, that's major, man. That's major, you know. That's major. He uh, reportedly was buying his children uh, properties every time they had a birthday. So he definitely put them in position to win. <clears throat> he definitely set up generational wealth and left a legacy for his children and his family and his wife. But um, more so, I wanted to speak on the terms of what that means, what what kind of power that is, uh, what that would do for a community, uh, the financial part, man, like a hundred properties, if you could just imagine the, uh, the cash flow on that, the appreciation, you know what I mean? It is definitely astronomical. So this brother, you know, he was very flashy, a flashy brother, but he was definitely handling his business in the business realm, man. He was doing his thing. You know, he, uh, he made a smart investment with a hundred properties, but to get, to get to my point, <clears throat> We are already behind the, the, the eight ball as far as the urban community, black people in America. Uh, we really just started acquiring wealth maybe the last 80 years, maybe. We just starting to acquire wealth. So I want to make it a point to you guys. I don't care what you're doing. You're a teacher, you're a firefighter, you're a, a real estate investor like myself. Uh, whatever you're doing, man, you work at the post office, um, whatever it is you're doing, make it your duty. Make it uh, something that you would want for your family. Try to leave something behind, man. We, we, we're really behind the eight ball when it comes to inheritance. Um, a lot of y'all don't know um, this company, this, sorry, this country is built off real estate. I think it's like 80 something percent of the millionaires in this country is through real estate. So just try, if you don't know anything about real estate, you don't know nothing about buying rental properties, um, buying and holding, doing refinances, just take it upon yourself, man. Maybe to get into like a, a, a course or do, your, do some of your own research where you could find out how to buy property. And when I mean buy property, for me, I like to get it at a discount rate. So try to buy some property that will appreciate or cash flow. And it's only gonna set your family up if you hold on to it forever. It's gonna set, set your family up. God forbid anything will happen to me or yourself. Uh, your children, your wife, whoever, your brother, your son, they will inherit that property. And more than likely, that property is appreciated over the, the years you've owned it. And you leave something behind. That way it can give your, that person who's inheriting it, it'll give them a jump start in life. So I just wanted to jump on here right quick uh, and talk about that. Um, Brother Young Dolph, again, he, he owned 100 properties. That's a massive, massive 
rental uh, real estate portfolio. Um, I want our our uh, our people to start taking this more serious um, life insurance, things of that nature, real estate, stocks, bonds, whatever it is, man. Also, <laughs> try to get a will. Don't do a disservice to your family and not have a will. Get a will, um, put the language you want in there for who to get what. All it does is cause confusion once you pass away, man. So get yourself a will, start buying real estate, get you a life insurance policy, man, and definitely, definitely leave something behind for your children or your family members because it's, it's already rough out here, man. You see the cost of living is inflation is going crazy right now. So we got to get a head start somewhere. Um, people that's been living in this country uh, since the inception, they have generations, and I mean multiple, maybe 10 generations of handing down real estate and wealth, inheritance, having a will, and we just starting to, <laughs> us as black folks, we're just now starting to get our hands on property and buying uh, life insurance in these last five to six decades. So we gotta do better, man. It's your boy, man. I just wanted to hop on here and talk about your boy, Young Dog. Um, as you can see behind me, I'm obsessed with the, the kitchen design, but we're gonna be selling this soon. It's gonna be off our hands and it's gonna be on to the next project. Y'all lay around, we got more stuff coming, more content coming. Like I said, I'm gonna be vlogging more, shoot more videos myself. Um, any questions, or if you just wanna show some love, like the video and leave a comment below.